to praying God's blessing and claim on his children, Quinn and Cameron. God has blessed us all through the gift of these children, expanding our hearts and allowing love to be multiplied through all our hearts, extending love to them. The Shema command from Deuteronomy instructs us, Hear, O people, the Lord is our God, the Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. Keep these words that I am commanding you today in your heart. Recite them to your children and talk about them when you are at home and when you are on away, when you lie down and when you arise. Bind them as a sign on your hand. Fix them as an emblem on your forehead and write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Jesus expanded this commandment with his instruction to his disciples at the Last Supper. This is the commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this than to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer because the servant does not know what the master is doing, but I have called you friends because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from the Father. You did not choose me, but I chose you. And I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, so that the Father will give you whatever you ask him in my name. I'm giving you these commands so that you may love one another. My friends, if there's one thing this crazy season of love has taught us, is that the primary role of home and family is to be supported by the church. The family unit is the primary nurturing force in the life of any child. Will and Courtney, Brad and Stephanie, you are the primary caregivers and providers of all things for Quinn and Cameron, including their spiritual growth. The church is their extended family, and we are here to support and resource your work to care for them and to raise them up unto the Lord. You, however, are the ones who will seed each girl's soul with all the gifts of the Spirit, including the meaning of love, hope, peace, joy, and all other good gifts of the Spirit. So this day, as we share in their baptism, we share in God's claim on each girl's life, and we are reminded of God's claim on all of our lives to be disciples of his kingdom here on earth so that it might be as in heaven. My friends, hear the words of our Lord Jesus Christ. All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember... I am with you always to the end of the age. Hear also these words from Holy Scripture. There is one body and one spirit, just as you were called to the one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in all. This day, obeying the words of our Lord Jesus and confident of his promises, we baptize those whom God has called. In baptism, God claims us and seals us to show that we belong to God. God frees us from sin and death, uniting us with Jesus Christ in his death and resurrection. By water and the Holy Spirit, we are made members of the church, the body of Christ, and joined Christ's ministry of love, peace, and justice. Therefore, let us remember with joy our own baptism as we celebrate this sacrament today. On behalf of the Church Council, I joyously present Quinn Summers Henningman, daughter of Will and Courtney Henningman, to receive the Sacrament of Baptism. I also joyously present Cameron Rose Borghetti, the daughter of Brad and Stephanie Borghetti. Will and Courtney, Brad and Stephanie, putting your whole trust in the grace and love of Jesus Christ, do you desire that Quinn and Cameron be baptized, do you? Relying on God's grace, do you promise to live the Christian faith and to teach that faith to your child? Do you? I do. EJ and Brittany, as spiritual sponsors,
For Cameron, I ask you, do you by prayer and example promise to nurture her in faith? Do you? Do you, as members of the Church of Jesus Christ, promise to guide and nurture Quinn and Cameron by word and deed, with love and prayer, do you? And will you encourage Quinn and Cameron to know and follow Christ and to be faithful disciples of his church? Will you? My friends, through the sacrament of baptism, we enter the covenant God established in Jesus Christ. Within this covenant, God gives us new life, strengthens us to resist evil, and nurtures us in love. Through this covenant, we choose whom we will serve by turning from evil and turning to Jesus Christ. Will and Courtney, Brad and Stephanie, trusting in the gracious mercy of God, do you turn from the ways of sin and renounce evil and its power in the world? Do you? <laughs> Do you profess Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Do you? We do. And will you be Christ's faithful disciple, obeying his word and showing his love? Will you? My friends, with the whole church, let us confess our faith using the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. My friends, let us join in the prayer of thanksgiving over the water. Eternal God, we give you thanks for you nourish and sustain all living things by the gift of water. In the beginning of time, your spirit moved over the watery chaos, calling forth order and life. In the time of Noah, you destroyed evil by the waters of the flood, giving righteousness a new beginning. It was you who led Israel out of slavery through the waters of the sea into the freedom of the promised land. And in the waters of the Jordan, Jesus was baptized by John and anointed with your spirit. Therefore, by the baptism of his own death and resurrection, Christ sets us free from sin and death and opens the way to eternal life. We thank you, O God, for the water of baptism. In it we are buried with Christ in his death, and from it we are raised to share in his resurrection. And through it we are reborn by the power of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, to send your spirit to move over this water, that it may be a fountain of deliverance and rebirth. Wash away the sin of all who are cleansed by it. Raise them to new life and engraft them to the body of Christ. Pour out your Holy Spirit upon Quinn, Summer, and Cameron Rose, that they may have power to do your will and continue forever in the risen life of Christ. To you be all praise, honor, and glory through Jesus Christ, our Savior, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns forever. Alleluia. Amen. Hiya. Yeah, hiya. I know, it's a strange face. Quinn, Summer, and Edmund, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, it's okay. I know. You want to you want to sing in the choir, right? Okay. There we go, Mama. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, we're fine. We're going to do just fine, aren't we, Cameron? Yeah. Hiya. Cameron Rose Borghetti, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Awesome. Yeah. Aren't you a pretty one? Huh. Yeah. Again, my friends, both 
these children are a blessing from God to all of us for our hearts to extend to them and for their hearts to grow into the love we provide for them. These are our newest disciples. And we are called to raise them up together unto the Lord's blessing. Let us pray. Almighty God, we give you thanks for Quinn and Cameron and for their families who will raise them up to your purpose. We pray, Almighty God, that you would indeed remind us all of our baptism, of your claim on our lives, the blessing that that is, especially in trying times. We pray, Almighty God, that you would infuse in each of them and all of us the love of the Lord Jesus Christ, grace and mercy. And may the indwelling of the Holy Spirit guide their steps as it guides all of our steps in these days and in days to come. We pray this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Alleluia and amen. May the blessing of God the Father, the love of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the indwelling of the Holy Spirit abide with you this day and forevermore. Alleluia and amen. Awesome. Good job. Here we go. Oh, thank you. One baptism show. <laughs> oh, forgot an important part. Mr. Harrison. You get a special gift. You have a little sister, right? And what's her name? Quinn. Quinn, right. And you have a special role to teach her about Jesus and about love. Can you love her good? Yeah. I know you can. Good. There's your cross. We'll let Dad adjust it later. <laughs> and where's she be? Charlotte, can you come up here? You want to come up here, sweetie? Come on. <laughs> Yeah, come here. Come here, Charlotte. Yeah. I have a special gift for you to see. You want this, don't you? Okay? This is your cross to remind you. You're the big sister, and you have to teach your little sister all about love, okay? Can you do that? Yes. Awesome. Okay, and then we have, let's see, Bibles and a certificate and splash material. Okay, this is the church's, I want to say, encouragement of the resources <laughs> that we want to give you in months to come. I think we're up to month five on that one. <laughs> and same thing for you. First Bible, certificate, and splash program. So that every month you can remember you get wet. Yeah. Okay? So thank you. Right. Congratulations. Thank you. All right. So how do you want to proceed at this point?